Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how to stylize a floor plan without using Photoshop or Illustrator. We'll use Rayon, where you can draw floor plans and sections and stylize them all in one workflow. Add colors, hatches, textures, edit line weights, use fonts, and more. Whether you're presenting a client project or creating a beautiful portfolio drawing, Rayon makes it fast and easy. Feel free to sign up for free to follow along using the link in the video description. Let's jump in. Let's begin with the workflow for importing an existing drawing. First you go to the menu and import where you have four options. You can import an image, PDF, DWG, or even another Rayon file. Let's start with an existing DWG. Here I have a file on my desktop that we can import. Importing the DWG will open up a new Rayon window where we're scaling the drawing. So we want to make sure that Rayon puts the drawing into our Rayon file at the correct scale. So what I already know is that this piece of wall here is two meters. So I can click on the two points. Rayon allows uh, automatic snapping so that it's perfect. Now Rayon has guessed that it's 2.0026 meters, which is correct. Let's say continue. You can choose an insertion point. I'll put it right here. And here it is. My DWG has been converted into a Rayon file with all the features of Rayon objects. We can start adding some Rayon elements to it as part of our design. So the first step, I want to make a washroom right here. So I'm going to start by drawing a wall. Select the wall tool, and zoom in, and we can snap to all of the elements on the base drawing. So we'll take this corner. Now we want to go out about two meters. Type in two, snap to 90 degree angle, and then we'll just stretch it down to meet up with this wall. Now I want to change the hatch of this wall. So let's select both of the new walls, go over to styles, and let's just replace it with an existing floor plan 12 style because that's the thickness of the wall I want. As you can see, there's a weird join happening here. If we zoom in here, it's joining to the existing wall in our drawing. So what we can do is hold this. Okay, now that we've drawn the walls, let's add a door. So go to the opening tool, place it in the wall, choose which way it should swing, and you can also fine tune its location, move it a bit out. Now let's customize the style of the walls. Right now it's just a plain white fill, but we can change any of that by detaching this style and adding a fill. Rayon comes with a bunch of hatches loaded into the library, but you can also upload your own hatch. For now, let's look in the pattern library and choose the oblique grid. And it's not mapping very well, so we're gonna have to change the scale of it. So you go down to transform, and let's make it 0.25. And if you want the pattern to start at a different place, you can either you can rotate it, which we don't want to do, or you can slide it over by X or Y values. So let's type in 15. That looks pretty good. Close that. And we can even add a fill. So let's add a fill color of uh, this red color that we have. We can change the stroke of the pattern. So actually, I think the stroke of the pattern, we want something small. So 0.5 is pretty good. That's the, pat that's the stroke of the actual pattern. Now what we can actually do is control the stroke of the wall, which is the outside cut lines. And because they are cut lines, you want to show them thicker than the hatch pattern. So let's bump it up to 0.25. Now you can tell that the outside is being cut and the inside is a hatch pattern. 
Now what you can do is you can save this as a wall style. So let's go to this save style button and put the name in as demo wall. Now that we have the demo wall style, we can apply it to other walls. So let's click on the other wall. And now we can edit the style and it'll edit both of the walls. So let's say we want to get rid of the fill. It goes away on both walls and we have nice control over the graphics of our drawing. Next, let's add a zone to complete the room here with the zone button. RAN will automatically detect the bounds of your room. So when you click, you create a zone, and let's call it uh, MidWC. And now we can do the same by applying a style to this room. Let's change the fill, let's use a texture. So RAN once again has a pattern library for different textures. So let's scroll down through some of these categories and how about some wood? I know wood isn't the ideal flooring for a washroom, but let's try it on anyways. And we can pull down the opacity so it doesn't look so strong on our drawing. Let's maybe go to 25%. And we deselect it, it looks nice on our drawing. We can also click, and of course we could save that style. We could call it WC Floor is great for if we want to apply it to another zone in the project. Now that our plan is stylized, let's add blocks and annotations to convey more information on our drawing. To get started with blocks, Rayon has over 4,000 blocks that you can choose from. From the block panel, you can also click on libraries to browse some of the collections that Rayon has set up. You can also customize your own libraries, or you can create your own blocks. You can also import blocks that were created in other programs, such as DWG formats. I'm gonna start off by searching for a table. As you can see here, I found a table, and what you can do is click on the family of the block, and then you can see the block from the top view or from the side view for use in sections and elevations. I'm just going to take this table and drop it in my drawing. Next I'm going to look for some chairs, maybe bar stools, and same thing if you click on the family you can look at side views side and front. Another way to search would be to type in restaurant. And then you can find the restaurant library. And they'll have anything you need and some other blocks for inspiration. Zooming in on these two blocks, we can see that their styles are different. So let's create our own styles. First, let's click on the chair and you can see that it's using two different styles of cobalt blue. So let's create our own. Click on the style, click new style. Let's call it demo style furniture. You can add a fill. Let's choose our own blue. And we can choose a stroke. Well, we're not cutting through it, so let's make it. Now we can take that same style and apply it to the table. Now let's arrange the furniture in the room.
Using styles, we can render 2D drawings really quickly. Now that we've arranged all the furniture, we can play with the styles. So let's click on a chair and we could even apply the bathroom style that we used before. Or we could just change the style, demo style furniture, click on edit style. And let's say we want red again. Because we're editing the style, both the chair and the table are changing because that style is applied to both of the blocks. For the full drawing, we're going to go back to cobalt blue, but I think you get the point. Fast forward after a little bit of block work and now we have a nice populated drawing. Next up, I'm going to dimension the drawing using the dimension tool. You can select a single dimension or a chained dimension. Let's start by just clicking on each point down the wall. And in the, as you can see in the chained mode, this makes for really clean inline dimensions. We can also annotate the drawing using leaders. Simply click on the object you want to annotate and type in what it is. You can control the appearance of your annotations using styles. As you can see, if we click on a dimension here, you can see that it's using the copy annotation style. To explain this, I'm going to edit the style and make the text really big. As you can see, what happened is that all of the dimensions grew together. This gives us a really easy way to control the visual styles. We can control anything from the text size, the font being used, the stroke width, or even the dimension symbols. All right. Now that our drawings are stylized, we're ready to prepare a presentation. Let's use canvases, pages, and views to set a document set to scale. For that, head to your layer panel and go to the paper canvas. As you can see here, the M pages are model canvases and the P is for paper. Here on the paper canvas, I have a whole presentation already set up, but we're gonna make a new page from scratch to show you how it's done. Let's go over to the side. Create a new page and set its size. We can choose on the side. Let's get an A3. Note that the scale of our paper canvas will always be one to one and the model canvas view will be set to a scale. That way the paper canvas represents the true look of our printed document set. Now let's add a view. We can edit the view by double clicking inside and we can choose which model space we're going to be viewing with this view. We want this one copied floor plans and we want to set the scale of this to 60 which is the scale of the other pages in our presentation. With the view selected we can change the crop size by holding down command and pulling on one of the corners. Now we can recenter this. Now that my view's cropped, I can add a title block, which we can either drag from an existing drawing, or you can find it in the block panel. Another advantage to the paper, canvas, and rayon is that you can compose your entire drawing all in Rayon. No need to import and export back and forth between other programs. Simply import everything into Rayon. I'll show you this by adding to the mood board. This drawing is already set up, but let's say we want to make a last minute addition to it. Simply go to import image. We have an image on our desktop and here it is. 
Rayon now comes complete with AI editing images, so you can either remove the background or upscale the image, but this image is quite good already. So we're just gonna put it on our drawing and scale it down and simply put it next to the other images on our mood board. Now you can see that everything, including the section, the mood board, the title block, everything lives in Rayon for one clean and easy export of the presentation. Now that our presentation is set up on the paper canvas, we can look at the pages tab and see that all the pages are nicely in an order according to how we want our presentation to look. To look at the presentation, we can click on the preview button. Here we have a preview of the PDF that would be created if we export, or that we can share with a link. Let's go down to hit publish, and then click copy link. And now you can share that link with anyone with a web browser. So that's how you can draw and stylize your architectural designs without needing any extra software, all in one place. If you'd like to try it for yourself, you can grab the free template using the links in the description. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Do you have any questions? Feel free to drop them in the comments, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.